All right, party people, welcome to the introduction of Russian Fishing 4. Today, I'm going to be going over some very basic information to get you started in this wonderful free fishing game. There are two ways you can get into this game. First of all, you can download the game from Steam, or you can download directly from the developer's website, which has some benefits to you as a player and a developer. We're simply going to go into our search engine, type in RF4, enter. That'll bring up the website. Click on the link and you're in. From here, we can go to the forum, which is going to give us a wealth of information in the game, including the latest info in patch notes, events, which contains tournaments to win some awesome prizes, water bodies, which gives us information about all the maps in the game and fishing holes, and finally fish, where we can get the information such as lures and bait to get them. But of course, we're on this website to download the game. So go at the top here, download the game that's going to provide us with the information about minimal system requirements and recommended system requirements hopefully your pc can do it all right so you've downloaded and installed the game congratulations click on play okay from the login screen we're going to click on the registration which is going to bring up another site where we can put in our details such as our username password email and then register once you have completed the registration form, including ticking all the boxes, the only other option here is other countries. This is referring to where you are playing in the world. So unless you're specifically in China, USA, Japan, or Italy, you'll be clicking other countries and then finally register. Okay, so we clicked on registration and activation link has been sent to our email address. We're just gonna click on that link nice and easy congratulations you successfully clicked on the link come back to the login screen fill in your details and click sign in and we're loading into forest lake which is the tutorial map okay once loaded in just simply follow the instructions a quick little tip rather than just walk around at a normal pace if you hold down the shift key you can run once we've reached the water's edge the rod will be automatically cast into the water now all we need to do is wait for that float to go completely under the water and hold down the left mouse button to lift up on the rod to get the fish. Okay, so we're lifting up on the rod and our first fish is a crucian. From here, we're just going to cast back into that green circle by holding down the left mouse button, then letting go and our floats back in the water. From here, again, we're just going to wait for that float to go under the water just like that. Hold down the left mouse button, lift up and we get our second fish. We're going to now change our bait by holding down the B button. Left mouse clicking on maggot, letting go of B. That's now changed our bait and cast back in again. From here, we're now going to set up our shortcut menu by holding down the letter U. This is going to allow us to drag and drop our rods into slots one and two. Now, if we press number two, it's going to bring up our spin rod. From here, we can simply cast like it's saying. However, I do recommend with the mouse wheel rolling back that friction brake. The last thing we want to do is catch a pike here, which is potentially going to chomp through the line and lose our lure. Okay, from here we can cast this lure in two different ways. We can simply hold down the left mouse button, which will slowly bring up that power graph, or we can hold down the shift key, left mouse button, which will bring it up to full power instantly then let go of the left mouse button. That will give us a power cast. Here, we now just hold down the left mouse button and wind. That is it. And hopefully a fish will jump on like that. We can hold down the shift key again, which will bring the fish in even faster. Again, we're gonna hold down the shift key. Let's get that lure right out there. Hold down the left mouse button. Okay, we've got a good fish. That sound you're hearing is the drag, which means we need to wind up with the mouse button on that friction brake. It looks like we've got a pike. So we've got to be careful. As I mentioned earlier, pikes have teeth that can chomp through your line and lose your lure. If you want a bit of a closer look at this fish, we can press Z or Z, depending on where you are in the world, and we can zoom in on the fish. If the fish is continuing to take line, do not wind at the same time. All you're going to do is wear out the friction brake on your reel. Okay, so if the fish is still taking line like this, we can just wind up the friction brake just a little bit more to put a bit more pressure on the fish. Remembering this is a pike. The teeth will bite through our line 
so we could potentially lose our lure. Okay, so with just a little bit more friction brake power, we've managed to bring the fish in. We're going to lift up on the fish, and there it is, three and a half kilo pike. Again, we're going to release this fish, which is going to complete the tutorial at Forest Lake. And there we go, training is complete. We're now going to load into Mosquito Lake, which is considered to be the first map in the game. 